this is Studio 7 on YouTube West, and today I'm going to talk about a 1997 production. It's a comedy. It's a romantic comedy, so guys, it's called a chick flick, but I pose this question. If you ran into Selma Hayek in a restaurant out in the middle of nowhere and had the opportunity to take her home, wouldn't you? I think so. And that's where we get this movie, Fools Rush In. It's a wonderful little movie. It's a wonderful little chick flick. It only runs 109 minutes, so you won't feel the pain for more than two hours, but it's well worth it, guys, not because just of Selma Hayek and how cute she is, but how fun the story is and how these two get together, hook up, get married, and go through some interesting troubles along the way and show you truly that the signs are everywhere that fools can rush in, survive, and make it work. That is, if they want to. We have a film that's directed by Annie Tennant, who has done a lot of the movies in the 90s. He's done a lot of those romantic chick flick type movies. That's what he's known for. That's what he does. And since he does it well, it works out really well for our case. We have a pretty good cast in Matthew Perry, who is left over from his career in the TV show Friends. He's an excellent actor in his own right, and probably, next to David Schwimmer, pretty good for coming out of there. I don't think Matt LeBlanc did so well movie-wise. I mean, he does do still do work, but he just, he didn't walk away from that show surviving, kind of like Lisa Kudrow. We also have Selma Hayek, who is known, was known as The Body um, in Hollywood when she was in From Dust Till Dawn, but even still, and in here, she plays the Latin heartthrob very well, and when you put her in Vegas and you give her the right music and the right set of family and brothers, it's wonderful. John Tenney is in the movie. He's Matthew Perry's sidekick, Joe Claver, is Matthew Perry's mom, and Alan Silvestri su supplies the music for the movie, and it's wonderful. And of course, you're going to get the usual Vegas show tunes from Elvis and everything else along the way. And that's okay because it kind of helps sell the movie. Alex! Alex Whitman. Okay, Jeff, it's a long story. Was good at being single. I'm looking for Alex. He just ducked out. And his life was right on track. You are taking over in Vegas. No, 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 no. Everything that's famous about Las Vegas is about leaving it. That movie, the song, even the mob left Las Vegas. It's a long way from Manhattan to Las Vegas. Hot, 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 hot. But Alex was beginning to think <laughs> it was worth the trip. Thanks. I miss the bell. I never did anything like that before. Going home with someone I don't know. It was just one of those spontaneous things. So, uh, how you been? Pregnant. Really? Now, the movie didn't really do too well. It kind of panned through the box office, and that's probably because of its release date. It was released on Valentine's Day, and it is the total chick flick movie, and you think, well, those are the two best opportunities. Wrong. You see, on Valentine's Day, Nobody goes to the movies. You have to take them to dinner. That's right. It's dinner and something special. It's not the movies. The movies are for the rest of the time. And guys, if you haven't figured that out yet, think about this. By the way, most of the chicks don't like the comic book movies. So if you happen to be thinking about this for Valentine's Day again or some special occasion, don't go to the comic book movies. All right? Use your head. The one... And that's what we're talking about with Fool's Russia. I dig this movie. It is, for a chick flick, a 7 out of 7 movie. And you get there because it has two great stars in Matthew Perry and Selma Hayek. It has a wonderful supporting cast. It has incredibly good music. And it is a great little story that ends up exactly how it should end up. And that I will leave for you to find on your own. Thank you.